one, we're live. Hello, it's Bill, the Neat Pain Guru. Today is Wednesday, April 28th, 2021. Today we're going to talk about um, fractured knee and a grade two MCL tear. So this was a comment that was sent in by a KK. Uh, they write, fractured my knee and grade two MCL tear after slipping in snow badly. Three months later, I still can't straighten knee. Feels impossible. Surgeon wants to do manipulation. I am absolutely terrified. I'm so scared my knee will never straighten again. I feel like crying. Feels like no amount of excess exercise will stretch it out. I'm only 25 female. I don't know what to do. Okay. It's common. Uh, my, my only question in the scenario and everything that I read is the surgeon is saying they want to do manipulation on the knee, but I'm unclear as to whether surgery has already been done on the knee. See, see the difference? And th this is where we need to get kind of get a background to really understand everything you're dealing with. This is why it's important to get a diagnosis first and foremost. Uh, diagnosis is key to know what you're dealing with, what we're dealing with, to figure out a strategy for you to get where you want to go. Some, based on all that information, knowing if something is broken or torn in the knee or not is key, is crucial. So we gather all of the information we can to begin developing your strategy out of pain. Now with KK, in, in the situation, in the scenario, she didn't exactly say that she had surgery. She's saying the surgeon wants to do a manipulation, which is kind of indicating to me she had the surgery. It got repaired, what was broken or torn. However, she's still having this pain and range of motion issues in the knee, which means it's not a mechanical issue that we're dealing with. The, the knee has been fixed. The doctors did what they're really good at. Making sense? Physical therapy did what they're really good at, strengthening the leg. Where the blind spot in that scenario is understanding how the neurology, how your nervous system plays a role in giving the commands to the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, the bones, to tell the leg to extend and to bend. So KK had, she slipped on the snow, fractured her knee, probably had surgery, and now has been struggling with the range of motion in the knee. And this has directly resulted from the trauma that the knee has experienced, that her body has experienced. And what ends up happening is that causes the tension pattern that doesn't allow the leg to extend and to bend. So no matter how much you go down that road, of forcing the joint or trying to strengthen the leg to get the range of motion, you're just giving it more trauma. The more trauma it experiences, the less it wants to move. The more it tightens up, the more it sets up the ideal conditions for arthritis to develop in the knee, even she's only 25. So we have to look at the bigger picture of what's going on in the body and not just look at the knee or the leg or whatever is going on is just a mechanical thing. Like if we fix it, then it should be fine. That I made that mistake. I thought doc's going to repair the ligament in my left knee, repair the meniscus. I'm back out on a judo mat doing my thing. And it didn't work that way. So this is consequently what a lot of people struggle with suffer with because the element that's not being looked at is the neurological system, the brain, the nerves, the spinal column, and that's what's given the commands to everything, to do something, to not do something. Making sense? If it makes sense, give the video a thumbs up, like and subscribe to the Knee Pain Guru YouTube channel, turn on notifications for future videos as I do these based on the questions that come in. If you have comments, Please 
put those in the comments section. We are streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, and Periscope this morning. So you can enter your comments in about your specific knee situation or whatever you have going on. Uh, and then what like what is your strategy? Like this is this is great, Bill. Okay, we got to address the neurology, and we do it by creating comfort. When we create comfort and we understand the neurological tension patterns that are going on in the knee, the leg, the hips, the lower back, we can begin changing that neurology in a way that allows the ease of movement in the joint and pain reduction. And comfort begets com comfort begets comfort. The more comfort we create, the more comfortable the joint gets, the more range of motion we have. And it's easier to break down the scar tissue and all that other stuff that's going on. Okay. Let's see. No comments coming in. We have a few people that are watching. Awesome. Glad you're here. Uh, your next steps. There's three you can do from watching this video. One is, and it'll be in the description of this video below, you can head on over to the kneepainguru.com website. You can check that out. I got an intro video. Sign up for the newsletter. Start getting my emails. Uh, and I give you, a, it's a different perspective. It, it's a different mindset. And that's what's really important in this whole approach to relieving pain. It's not going to be uh, leg extensions, leg curls, leg raises. It's not going to be you have to strengthen something. Because if what you're doing hurts, it's just reinforcing the dysfunctional tension pattern that is going on in your body that has led you here to watch this video to begin with. So the point of it is we have to change the neurology with comfort. So it's not going to be your conventional approach. So you can head on over to the website, thekneepainguru.com. There is also links in there for uh, signing up for appointments. If you'd like a, a one-off consultation, I can do that, kind of take your situation, and we can develop a strategy uh, for how you would approach the situation with your knee. And then I also have my group coaching program, which is called Knee Club. We meet uh, twice a week in a group coaching call. Uh, Zoom room, and then I use videos that are in a member's area of my website to give you what is going to make the biggest difference in your knee today. And that's what's important. This is so crucial when people think, oh, it's going to take a long time. No, it doesn't take a long time. Your nervous system fires very quickly. It responds very quickly. Um Okay, Felicia said, left shoulder pain, can't hardly raise my arm. What can I do to stop the pain? Uh, well, you want to develop a bigger approach. Like pain just doesn't happen in a vacuum. Something's been going on with your body and your shoulder for a while that leads to a situation where it's going to hurt. So we... It's short-sighted to look at just the shoulder and getting it out of pain. There's, um, you know, I, I when I work with my clients, we use a, a lot of Arnica, if need be, and magnesium oil, if need be, depending on the strategy we're going to use. But that just essentially is going to be a Band-Aid if we aren't addressing the tension pattern that is causing the shoulder to hurt to begin with. Let's see, Felicia says here, sleep issues, insomnia, plus a stomach sleeper. Uh, yeah, there, there's, like, we can go down a rabbit hole, Felicia, and, and it sounds like you have other things going on. But it's important to use this as a, in a broader perspective, that it's not just the left shoulder. It ties in with your sleep. It ties in with how you sit, how you stand, how you move how you're sitting at a computer. It, all of it plays a role in what's going on with your shoulder. And, it, you know, if, if you're looking for reduction of pain, there you go. There's homeopathics. There's um, herbs. You can go to a doctor. They give you prescription drugs to reduce the pain. 
But if you're looking for a long-term strategy, we have to take a step back, look at the landscape of what's going on in your life and begin to put things in place that are going to fundamentally change the patterns that are going on in your mind, in your body, in your life that is going to make a permanent change. And that's why I do these because not everybody's up to that. Everybody wants a quick fix. Um, give me the, the pill, the drug, the shot, the surgery and make it go away. It, it's not going to cut it anymore. That's We don't have that luxury anymore. Uh, the awareness in people's bodies, the level of pain and stress and tension that people are under right now is not allowing for that leeway in that experience, in our physical experience. So we need to look beyond the conventional medical model to begin to learn how we can take care of ourselves, how we can teach our body to recover better, faster, more efficiently, to upgrade, upgrade the software, so to speak, by changing the neurological signaling so the body is able to heal itself. So, Felicia, hopefully that helps give you a perspective. If you want more, head on over to the NeePainGuru.com website. Okay. I'm going to scoot. Go down below this video in the description for what you would like. Let's see who we got here. You're welcome, Felicia. Absolutely. Whoop. There we go. Okay. Here's Bill Paravano. I'm Bill Paravano, the Knee Pain Guru. We're going to sign up for today. Have a wonderful day. I will see you on the next one.